This is Chi with Chinese Pod, and welcome to Journey into Mandarin Pop. Today, we're looking at jazzy Shidai Qu, old school Chinese songs in Shanghai, almost a hundred years ago. Nearly all people in China know this song. Many could tell what song it is just by listening to the intro. It doesn't sound like it's from a hundred years ago, but we'll get to that in a minute. Yes, it's Ye Lai Xiang. It's widely translated as the evening primrose, a kind of flower. It's sung by the great, great Teresa Tang, Deng Li Jun. But what's not so well known is that this song is from 1944. The original singer was Li Xianglan, which is a name most Chinese people have heard of, but not sure what her famous songs were. The same goes for the following song. When will you come again? Sung by also Deng Li Jun in 1978 and in 1939 by the famous Zhou Xuan. And we all know Zhou Xuan because of the following song. It's the epitome of Shi Dai Qu, literally meaning songs of the era. I mean, even the title has Shanghai in it. Song title is the first line, Ye Shanghai, Night Shanghai, Shanghai at night. You are a city that doesn't go dark. You are a city that never sleeps. A hundred years ago, Shanghai has already been the most metropolitan city in China. So Shanghai was and still is the Berlin, the Paris, the New York of China. You might say Hong Kong too, but... Mm, Shanghai and Hong Kong, 不相伯仲, too close to call. You have your shops for foreign goods, you have your Western influence fashion trends, you have your Western English names, you have your neon lights, bars, clubs, restaurants. So let's drink red wine, have a cigar, and dance along to 时代曲, the topic of today. Reminiscing, night life is just like waking up from a dream. This 
This was the cover version of Ye Shanghai by Wang Ruolin, released in 2014. Hey guys, it's Michael here at Chinese Pod, and we want to say thank you to all of our faithful subscribers. If you're not registered yet, head over to ChinesePod.com now and get 20% off. Use promo code Get20 at checkout to get 20% off your first year. But Shi Dai Qu, it's not all about jazz. It's about fusion. It's about the converging of styles. This song is called also by Zhou Xuan, "Mai Zha Huo," selling sundry goods. And you can tell that it's very generally speaking, that it's very oriental. There's no Western instruments here. Kan Hua Ren Tai Duo, that kind of going in and out of musical pitch, is very indicative of the Cantonese opera influence in the Guangdong province, which this song is based on. And this song, which is called Ming Yue Qian Li Ji Xiang Si, My Longing for You is embedded into the far shining moon, is one of my favorites because it really embodies the East meets West style. The Chinese style melody, arranged in a walking style, commonly found in music in the West at the time, coupled with a Western jazzy style arrangement with piano and flutes, sung by Bi Yin Ge Hou, the Queen of Nasal Singing, Wu Ying Yin. You hear that beautiful nasal tone. In Chinese, we have a term "wen shi," so it's "wen xue" and "li shi," literature, history. In other words, both are inseparated. In literature, you find history, and in history, you find literature. And of course, the same goes for songs and its lyrics. The lyrics for this following song is beautiful and not too difficult. So let's learn it line by line. If我没有你，日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子怎么过？日子
you don't know your own limitations. And here it's split up beautifully. 我不管天多么高，更不管地多么厚。If you don't know your own limitation, when you love somebody, you just don't care. Love transcends everything. As long as I have you with me, accompanying me, 我的命便为你而活 My life will live for you. You quickly come close to me. 一起建起新生活 Together build a new life. The song is called "Ru Guo Mei You Ni," sung by Bai Guang in 1948. Let's listen to it again and see if you can pick up all the lyrics. Welcome back to another installment of Chinese Pod Trivia. And the question for you is: For what test does Chinese Pod offer preparation services for? Is it A. the polygraph, B. the colonoscopy, C. the HSK test, or D. the CAT scan? Uh, the CAT scan? Ooh, sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C. the HSK test. That's right. Chinese Pod will thoroughly prepare you to pass this rigorous test of proficiency in Chinese. ChinesePod.com/hsk. Just so amazing how different musical styles, how language and how we use language, could amalgamate into becoming this such beautiful song. And don't forget the numerous shoutouts to these good old days. All the later legends singing cover versions of these songs. All the movies made that is set in Shanghai in the 1920s. It's surely a very culturally significant era, and that's why it's the 时代 Nowadays, if you go to Shanghai, especially the Wai Tan area, in the bars, in the jazz clubs, you hear renditions of these songs every day. Era to pave the way. To the development, to the boom of the Mandarin pop genre, so it's 不可或缺 It's indispensable to the history of it. Let's look at more 时代曲 in future episodes of Journey into Mandarin Pop, shall we? My name is Chi. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. 
You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number 4330. So just go to www.chinesepod.com 4330 and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again? www.chinesepod.com 4330.